Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So, today we are going to go on a little adventure. I'm going to look for something that I think I know where it is, but I don't remember completely offhand. So, we're going to go see if we can find it. And we're going to, this will kind of actually reveal for the first time the location. Because I kept it a secret. I never built a portal to it. And, uh, that was kind of intentional. So, let's see here. Dake is out this way, and it should be pretty obvious when we get there. And it's not, it's not actually that far, but again, I never built a, uh, never built a portal to it. So, let's see here. I think... Should be right there. Oh my gosh. So, I showed this on camera. Um, but, I don't... Let's get down. And... Bump. And turn off F3. And see what we get. This is a drowned farm. And it uh, should still work. Oh yeah, there we go. So we got a we got a drowned right there. And I've got a uh, turtle egg. And these guys are trying to get to it. The turtle egg's right there and they want to go stomp on the turtle egg. So they will come down here and they will uh, stand right there and I can Wow. Uh, and then I can just, I can come here and just kill them. And then every now and then, one of them shows up with the trident. And, oops, don't do that. Uh, one shows up with the trident. So I spent a fair amount of time out here just AFKing. And, ooh, spooky sounds. Um, and just... AFK and waiting for them to come and stand here and I guess if I let them stand long enough entity cramming would sort of kick in. But, so this isn't the most effective design in the world, but it works. And the way it works is uh, they will spawn in river biomes more quickly than they will spawn in deep ocean. Uh, so, and then they they sort of fall down in water. The guy have a trident? He's carrying something. No, he's carrying a fish. Uh, so yeah, so you, this is kind of cool. You can watch them all fall in. Uh, and so I really, at some point, intended to build a portal out over here so that it would be easier to get to this. And I just had to, like, kind of remember where, where it is. And fly out to it. It wasn't that far away. It's only about a thousand blocks. Oh, look, a Nautilus shell. So, yeah, you get good stuff like this. Nautilus shells, they carry, they carry gold. Um, and then occasionally they'll carry fishing rods and stuff. We get a lot of heads. And why are these different? Ah, interesting. I am using a uh, resource pack to give uh, mob drop heads. Cause I think they're kind of fun. Probably, probably use one on the new server as well. Uh, so this was a this was a decent way of getting stuff, including tridents. Uh, that was kind of the main goal. Obviously. The rotten flesh, not super useful, um, except for trade with villagers. 
And I'm not sure that that's going to be the case anymore in 1.17. Um, okay, guys, settle down. Settle down. Oh, I, I think this guy's going to try it. One of them was. Let's see if they dropped it. No, they did not. So anyway, it took killing a lot of these guys in order to get a trident. And then once I got tridents, um, did a lot of comparing, combining, enchanting, repairing to get the different tridents that we wanted. And I've got, let's see, I've got a box of, oh yeah, so I've got like a box of tridents here. Um, yeah, so a lot of them come, you know, with some enchantments on it, so, and I enchanted some with mending. I got mending books and I enchanted these up and repaired them up. Uh, and then these were just, you know, so compare, combine these to make fully repaired and then put mending on it and then take these different, uh, channeling and paling and royal you know all these and and uh so this one here is a pretty good trident uh, so i was doing that in order to get tridents to put into the store and i've got i've got tridents i own like tridents somewhere here let's see here I, I think I have a weapons box, right? Toolbox. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to sort of show... Yeah, so I've got like... Uh, so I've got my Riptide uh, trident here for like flying and thunderstorms. And then this one's got channeling on it. Um, I'm surprised I don't have like just an impaling... Huh. Oh. So these are like backup, you know, backup uh, tools. My, uh, my bang uh, shield. So let me show you what I've got here. So I've got, uh, these are my, these are the shulker boxes that I kept, keep in my, uh, end, ender chest. This one is all just blocks. A full stack each of blocks. And these are blocks that primarily can be used to, to make other things. So I've got stone, grass, dirt, sand, gravel, uh, a log, put in spruce because that's the thing I have the most of, lapis. Gold, iron, TNT, uh, bookshelf, uh, obsidian, chests, diamond, crafting tables, furnaces, ice, snow blocks, clay, pumpkins, carved pumpkins, glowstone, emerald, redstone, uh, quartz ore, slime block, coal, and bone block. Um, and my rationale behind putting the quartz ore are they dying? Is there entity cramming going on there? Um, yeah, uh, was that this was a kind of a, a source of XP if I were in a position where I needed it. Glowstone could be used in the same way. But this is like, you can build most things in the game out of this if you need it. I could break the bookshelves to get books. Uh, the iron, you can craft into... There's more things that iron get used for than anything else. Um, slime, you can get slime blocks. Basically, all this stuff could be broken down and used to build other things. So that was kind of the the uh, the logic behind having a box of blocks. And I got some gold here. 
And then I have this miscellaneous box, which is um, stacks of things. I've got a couple enchanted golden apples, shulker shells so I can build shulker boxes. I've got chests. So this is like already fabricated stuff. I've got a silk touch pickaxe so that I can pick up the ender chest. Um, but I've got stuff that had to be silk touched. I've got some bottles of enchanting. And I've got other stuff that be, can be used that these aren't blocks, but they can be used to build other things. So I've got gunpowder so I can build TNT or rockets. Blaze rods so I can do enchanting. Bones so I can make bone meal and, and whatnot. And so this is just stuff that can be useful. Why do I have two dragon eggs? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. But, uh, totem up on diets. That was kind of what what goes into that box. Uh, and then I've got a box that's made for making brewing potions. So I've got brewing sands, and I've got all the sort of ingredients that can go into it, including ice, so that because ice is a way, a very portable way, a compact way of carrying water. Empty glass bottles because they stack, water bottles do not. And then just all the stuff that you would need to make all the various different potions, including gunpowder to make slash potions, and redstone to extend, and this dragon's bath to make breath to make lingering potions, uh, fermented spider eyes to make inverted potions, like, you know, um, slow falling and <clears throat> uh, invisibility and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, so these are all that, and then that's kind of what these are, a couple buckets and a cauldron, so that if I'm stuck in the nether, I can place down a cauldron, I can, these, one of these really should be a water bucket, but I can get, put water into the cauldron, and then use the bottles and still brew. There's the rationale behind that. Um... Redstone. These are all redstone components. Uh, full stacks of stuff so that I can comparators and and repeaters and just all the different things that you might need to make redstone contraptions just in case I'm someplace and I don't want to have to go back home in order to like, go to my uh, storage area and get the redstone there. Um, and then this, this is my uh, beacon box. So I've got all the stuff I need to make. I've got beacons. I've got wither skeleton skulls. Um, uh, I've got conduit making stuff. And I've got um, glass and obsidian and gold. So, hang on a second. A couple of uh, tridents here. Oh, somebody dropped a trident. Okay, good. <clears throat> uh, so this is beacon plus blocks to build beacons with. Materials to get more nether stars. Nether stars plus the materials to build um, build beacons. Plus soul sand and wither skeleton skulls to fight the wither in order to get more wither stars. And then stuff to build conduits, so... This is just kind of a general purpose um, box when it comes to uh, to beacons. Boost box. This is pretty much all fireworks. Yeah, fireworks plus bottles of enchanting to repair stuff. So if I'm flying somewhere long distance and my elytra is breaking or is about to break, uh, I can land, use the bottles of enchanting to repair it, and then continue along my way. Uh, this is all the different light sources in the game. In this version, of course, it's quite a few more now. And I have obviously grabbed some torches and need to refill, but... Sea lanterns, end rods, torches, glowstone, redstone lamps, and jack-o'-lanterns. Um, this is my oopsie box. If I need to... I can uh, re-gear up. Obviously, I've borrowed some stuff out of here and I never restocked it, but just, you know, weapons, armor, 
elytra, some food, golden apples, some tools if I need to, like, quickly go and grab stuff after I've been killed. Uh, I have that sort of stored in place to do that. And then I've got my toolbox. Ah, oh, this is where my... Oh, no, we already looked at this. So these are just miscellaneous tools. Clearly I've got some armor in there. Uh, the rest of this. Oh, right, and then I've got a, a die box. Oh, oops. All the different, all the different sources of dye. Block form when I can. Get them super compact. Otherwise, they're just kind of that. So if I need, uh, quickly realize, oh, I need some green dye. I've got some green dye. Dragon box. So this is a box of stuff that I did in order to to respawn and fight and kill the dragon. Yeah. Okay collect um, Dragon's Breath, make lingering potions and blocks so I can block up and destroy the end crystals. I've got some end crystals. Strength and regen potions. Uh, anything you might need for a good boss monster fight. Uh, oh, and this is a potions box. So this is useful potions. Water breathing, night vision mostly. Yeah, and then stone. I'd say that's not really a stone box. It's just another rack. And then the rest of these, I think, are just utility. Um, yeah, these are just me carrying stuff around, empty shulker boxes. And so I've got my trident there. These guys are dying and they cramming. I'm unlocking uh, recipes for some reason. Let's see here. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see if I have some glass. I do not appear to. Okay. Well. Okay, I should repair that. So anyway, you see, you have to kill a lot of things before you get get a bunch of tridents. Uh, but this was... Uh, oh, more novel shells. Salmon. So anyway, this was... Uh, this is, I think, the last big project that I really worked on. And, um, yeah. There we go. Okay. Well. And I should probably clear some of this stuff out because I don't really need... I don't need all this stuff. But this is... Uh, huh. I'm surprised I don't have... Since I, I built so much stained glass here, um, I'm surprised I didn't. Well, um, I'm surprised I didn't like have some, and maybe there is some here, like. These, I think, were building supplies that I used to build the farm here. Um, let's take a look through here. Oh, oh, oops.
No, claw slabs. Okay, well, as I said, I have enough in my ender chest that I could do this, right? I could, I, I have, I know, stacks of sand, and I have furnaces. So I could smelt some glass. I have that dye box, so I can make some, I have some yellow dye, and I can make yellow stained glass. And uh, I, so I could, I could repair this. Um, I will probably, I know I have plenty of yellow stained dye. Um, um, back at the base. So I will probably come and fix this up. Not that it matters a whole ton. Um, but I would like to, I, I just feel like I should fix this before we get, uh, before I end the, uh, this there we go We'll probably take care of what is that? Huh. Huh, that was just a fish. Oh no, bone meal. That's right. When the fish die, they uh, they sometimes drop bone meal. So, I think that really wraps up. I think that will wrap up this tour of the server. Minecraft season, Minecraft land party season two. Let me just think. I don't think there's anything else that's really, really needs to be uh, covered. No, I don't think so. All right. Well, I hope that was interesting. Um, and if you're still watching, thank you. Sorry, well, thank you very much. Um, my name is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, season two. And I will uh, see you next time. All right, bye. Oh, one last thing. This is not it. But when did the banner start waving? Okay. Because um, the banner's never waved on, um, on servers for some reason. Okay. Um, one last thing. I'm in spectator mode here uh, to show you something that I didn't actually find out about until recently. Notice there's a beacon here. Uh, that should have been a giveaway. I should have been able to see it from over there. Uh, but there's something down here, and I think there's an entrance to it over here, maybe. Yeah, so there's an entrance over here. I didn't, but I didn't find out about this until just recently. Oh, oh and there's a ladder over here. Wow. And this goes up. Another entrance over here. Oh, in the the Nether Fortress. Huh. Wow. Okay. So, Barb makes things. Worked on. Whew. Was working on this. It 
It's a big blow lava. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, sorry about that. I have a kitty on my lap. Decided to shove her claws into my leg because she started slipping. Okay. Um, yeah, big subterranean room. It's all slabbed with red nether brick and lit with these lava columns. It looks really cool. Uh, I don't know what the end plan was uh, for this, but, or just gave us to do it. Must have been working on this for quite a while and didn't let me know. Um, and nothing ever. Oh, another entrance right over here. Goodness. I should have seen this, but of course I spent most of my time in the nether in the uh, the nether tunnels. So not too surprising that I missed it. But um, and there's other areas over here. There is this big nether wart farm. And uh, some storage area, big smelter, because, you know, the uh, this red nether brick is not cheap. Uh, it's not, you know, you have to smelt nether brick or nether, yeah, nether rack into nether bricks. And then you have to craft the bricks into this red. And then you have to use think the nether war to make the red nether bricks it's it's involved um, but very impressive there's a lot of it here and um, pretty cool so that I think is the last of it um, so there we go so that will bring to the end bring us to the end of this uh, server tour and of season three of Minecraft Land Party. Thank you for watching. Um, sorry, it's the end of the server tour and season two of Minecraft Land Party. Please stay tuned for the start of season three, of Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.